Okay, we're up to 2.4 now, and I rebuilt my rig. We got two stages hooked in at quite a distance apart, and this is the first run right here. So I'll turn the light again. 2.3, 2.4 consistently. So I go 2.4. Getting there, we're catching up. So, anyway, I hope you guys enjoy this. This is uh, getting there. I redid these uh, things here just to show you what I did. I'll plug this real quick. So, I went ahead and put the copper in here, and I soldered it all around to turn up the heat in the solder gun and uh, stuck them on there. So, those are all in one big loop around it now and uh, through it. Um, with the other part on the back I put a big vent and on the second one or first one I should say right here that one is a smaller one I want to bring them together and cut out the space in between this one and this one in order to get it to double the uh, amount if I can I don't know if it's going to but a few more tests tonight and I may be able to do it I'll show you the uh, last two stages here so this is what it looks like when it comes out of the printer it's got uh, holes in it right here okay goes through uh, this one does not interfere too much with that one so it's a pretty easy fix right there this one here the four holes these right here check this out so I went to the uh, party store and I picked up one of these right here so on the back it has this uh, piece right here which is actually this plastic piece right here really stiff plastic really good to use really cheap okay they're a couple bucks a piece I don't have any acrylic stores by me and uh, Amazon takes a while to get here so anyway that's that this is the uh, other piece this is the uh, normal one like this one right here Okay, as you can see, I got the holes in it, and you can see, uh, probably glare a little wire on it, okay. I did put insets in here, so I took a uh, inset, and I pushed it in with my soldering iron, and got this right here, this little bolt to hold it, okay, each one's in there. One little trick when you're doing these, put it through, put them all through, and then just pull each wire up as you go in, and hold the top. Or the bottom and it'll tighten it as it goes through this as well has the uh, little holes in here for that so it keeps everything steady I picked up uh, you know a little bit from last time and all hokey setup I had to get to this one and this is a lot better a lot more stable uh, next thing is, is to do a little stand for it to sit on uh, but I got a lot more testing to go working on a different power source right now uh, working with another guy online I'm hoping it comes together well do a little uh, AC uh, research on it uh, switch it over to DC uh, as it goes but I can think I can get a higher power out of it one thing to notice when you do a multi-stage thing like this as soon as you hook the secondary one in the distance in the primary in this first two is shortened okay so whatever your normal set was it's going to change when you keep adding more because it's taking more power to run it through each wire as you're doing it so it's just something to keep in mind as you do your power source you can up your power okay coming in and uh, have a little bit closer together so I haven't achieved anything close to what Jay's got yet but I think I'm on the right road I definitely need a better power source because the one I got not not doing it I'm not getting uh, the stage pickup like I want I got 2.4, but man, I'd like to let's get into threes and fours. So anyway, that's it, guys. Hope you enjoy this. I'll leave the uh, STL files uh, hooked to my thing burst. I'll try to hook that up tonight and get it on there. Uh, that way you can print these off and have fun with it. All right, uh, or you can change it, whatever you want to do. All right, thanks, guys. So I just want to show you guys this real quick. Uh, this is uh, in uh, Cura. 
Uh, these are the times I'm getting on uh, printing these things off right over here. I'll show you real quick. For that part, it's an hour and 19 minutes. We're using a 0 .06 nozzle. And we're using a special code on here. Uh, I'll show you the guy I got it from right here. I'll leave a link to this uh, video in the description. Uh, but as you can see, here's the other one. Uh, and right there, an hour and 29 minutes. Okay, same thing. They're really fast uh, on the prints. They don't, uh, they don't like a whole lot of uh, extra garbage in them. So when you generate support, try not to generate any. On these two files, you won't have to. They print as is, set them in there, and they'll print, no problem. Uh, that's the way I built them, so they're faster. Uh, his code, uh, like I said, he, he has the thing on his website for the .06 nozzle. He also has the thing on there for a .04 nozzle uh, for a faster time as well, in case you're printing with that and didn't want to change your nozzle out. I have several printers here I print with. I got my original Ender 3 version 2 that I painted up. It looks awesome. My CR10 over here, CR10 S4, and another one right here, another uh, Ender 3 here that I use. And my CNC's up there, and my laser printer, or laser cutter, I should say. Anyway, I just wanted to show you that. I also wanted to show you this. I went ahead and I put, right there is a thruster, right there on Thingverse, Thingiverse, whatever you want to call it along with a bunch of other stuff that I made uh, on Fusion 360. So, hope you guys enjoy. I'll leave all the links in the description, so please look for it. Uh, if you want to download, do this, and then anything that you guys have, better power source, anything you come up with, please let me know. Uh, you know, I, I do this stuff for free. Don't ask for money. I don't ask for anything. But uh, if you guys have some information, that I am asking for. So, uh, by all means, let me know. But uh, there you go. I'll link, leave all the links in the description for you. And the stuff's free. Hope you guys enjoy the videos that I do. Thanks.